Hi folks, welcome back. This is going to be a very short lecture. I uh, promise not to spend too much of your time. And it's going to be a topic I want to kind of like mine a little bit. So over the coming weeks, I'll be sending examples of things like this to the YouTube channel. So they'll be very short, probably like 10 minutes or less type videos. So that way you guys that like to use the speed up format uh, two times because I talk really slow and long it'll help you get to like a five minute video but you've seen me do like intraday trading and, and like one minute chart trading trading both directions of the of the daily range I, I want to give you one little piece of that puzzle and that way you can go into your charts and start looking for things that repeat over and over again and you'll have that epiphany moment I'm sure you won't have everything obviously and that's not the point. The point is for you to start getting closer to these lower time frames because it'll give you a lot of examples and practice that are still transferable by logic to the higher time frames. So, you know, for instance, the daily chart, it takes a whole day, 24 hours to make that candle. Uh, you know, that's a lot of trades in there you can take, but you can't really practice a whole lot with that one particular candle if your time frame of trade is the daily chart. So, how do you practice and get a lot of um, appreciation and experience using price action concepts using these lower time frames but once you understand them you can actually operate in them with highly technical precision and consistency but you cannot be convinced of that until you go in and practice it all right so we are looking at the e-mini S&P this is the delivery contract month of December okay so futures they have expiration dates and while I'm not going to go into every facet about futures trading, you all have been exposed to that over the years with me in my teachings. But the idea is we're looking at the S&P. And prior to today's trading, we had yesterday's trading. We had a big down day. So right away, whenever we're bearish, this is something you want to have in your notes. If you're bearish, you want to be looking for up-close candles. All right, up-close candles. Every time we find price trading into an up close candle when it's bearish you're likely to get some sensitivity there and a displacement lower now inside of displacement on a one minute chart there's lots of opportunity for trades so you can go in here and practice with your demo account or paper trade them or just back test the idea but yesterday we had a big down day so i want you to consider this candle here so i know a lot of you are going to look at this oh this is hindsight stuff whatever then the lesson isn't for you, is it? So we're ha we're going to have this level highlighted. And we're going to go into the intraday price action of this daily candle. And we're going to drop all the way down into a one-minute chart. Folks, we are looking at the afternoon trend for equities. And that begins at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, Eastern Time. And closes at 4 o'clock. So 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And one o'clock Eastern Standard Time. That is the afternoon trend for equities. Now, if you're a stock trader, okay, say, I don't know if any of you are actually trading stocks or intraday trading stocks, uh, you can actually focus on this time of day. Or you can look at 9 30 in the morning to 11 in the morning Eastern Standard Time. That's the morning trend for equities. The same thing would apply to equity futures or index futures like NASDAQ. Futures, NQ, ES for E-mini S&P, and the YM for the Dow Futures. So no matter what you're looking at in regards to stocks or the indices themselves, this particular time of day is a really nice opportunity to trade, especially with these lower time frame charts. And you can actually practice a lot with, like, for instance, if you work during these hours, you can come home, pull up the charts, and start studying these. Because even if you don't trade them, it gives you a lot of study that is focused around a specific time of day. So it's time and price. And it, you can look for specific signatures. Now, this red line I added relative to that daily up close candle while the market's been bearish. What you want to see is when price between the 1 o'clock and 4 o'clock in the afternoon Eastern Standard Time, when it breaks below that, not just trades below it, when it breaks like that that is an imbalance 
So right away, you want to look at the last up close candle prior to that drop down. Now, notice what I just did. I gave you context. I gave you a narrative, framework, structure, market structure. And since we're on these lower one minute charts, this is micro market structure. So we see an imbalance here and then the markets want to trade right back up into that. Now I'm going to take this level off, but just know that that was the framework of what we're looking for. That's that little indication, if you will, without any indicators that the market wants to go lower. So we can take this off and then add right on the body of that candle right there. The open on this candle comes in at, now watch this price right here, okay? The open on this candle comes in at 32.56 even. The high on this candle comes in at 32.56 even. Now folks, listen, I don't know what parts of the world you're from or what town in the US you're from, but that's perfect where I come from. You can't get any better than that. You can't get closer, it's just perfect, okay? So when the price trades up into that, that's a short. Go and look at the examples I put on my charts and my trades. When I show my trades and recordings on this YouTube channel, that's the level of precision that I show and what constitutes the framework for those types of trades. So we have an optimal trade entry in here. So if we add a fib to that, just to give you the, the idea of what we're looking for, the body stay inside of optimal trade entry and the 79% tracement level caps the top. Perfect delivery. The market then breaks down. So how can we get a target? Well, you can get a target with this FIB, or you can look at the overall market structure that sets the setup for the swing. Okay, so if you're an intraday swing trader, or if you want to become an intraday swing trader, this is what you're going to do. You're going to look at the parent price swing, which is here. And if you're bearish in here, aren't you expecting it to trade below this low then? Sure. So this parent price swing, we use the FID to project down. We're looking for 32.1875. Okay. Well, we're going to put a line on that. There's your market structure swing projection. And 32.18.75 is your projected low. And the low on this candle comes in at 32.19. The next candle here. 3218.75, perfect. 3218.75, perfect. And everything else is higher. Perfect delivery, folks. Low, high. Look at my examples in this YouTube channel. They're very similar to that. Now, I'm, I would be taking profits parcel below here as well. And somewhere as it broke below here, something to the effect of maybe 10 handles or something like that. But logically, you can go through intraday charts like this on a micro market structure basis and find lots of precision elements that repeat over and over again. And you can use this model here and find many things that line up perfectly. And I'll just scrub this over so you can see that's that half of a standard deviation. And again, the swing is this one up here. If you see that break below the bearish order block, that's your indication, optimal trade entry, perfect delivery, it needs to trade below that great how far can it go perfect delivery at 32.1875 and bam there you go hope you found this insightful until next time i wish you good luck and good trading